everyone, welcome back to Studio Gen where I talk about free AI tools that you can use. Today I'm going to show you how to use a completely free app that you can download on your mobile phone where you can add motion and movement to still images. It's totally free, you don't even need to create an account. Just open up Google Play or the App Store and type in Pixamotion. So it's gonna look like this, moving pictures and 3D pictures. So this is what the app looks like. Everything I'm doing in this tutorial, I'm doing using the free version of the app. If you want to get some extra features and try it out for five days, you can sign up using my link in the description below. But again, it's not necessary. So the first thing we're going to do is try out the animate tool. So click on animate, then you're going to import the picture on your computer that you want to animate. So I've uploaded this really cool image that I downloaded from a royalty free website. If you want to follow along with the tutorial and use this exact image, I've linked you to it in the description below as well. So now we're going to crop the image. Let's say you want to create a portrait style video, something for Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. For this, I'm gonna go ahead with the nine to 16, position it where you want it, and then press the arrow at the top to go to the next step. Now with the free version, you'll have some ads that you have to watch, but they're not very long. So at the bottom, we have a bunch of different tools. So we're going to try out the motion tool. So just click on motion. And then all you have to do is add motion arrows in the direction where you want to add movement to the photo. You don't have to add too many, it's really up to you, but I'm going to show you what it looks like once we add this movement. So I've added it and now I'm going to press the play button. So you can see here that it's adding movement to the fire, but it's also adding movement to the guy. And obviously we don't want him to be moving because it doesn't look very realistic. So there are two options that we can do to restrict movement. Where we have all the tools at the bottom, if you scroll to the right, you'll see there's a mask tool. So click on the mask tool, and then you can adjust the size of the brush, and you're going to brush over the portion of the image that you do not want to animate. At the top here, it kind of zooms up on it so you can be a little more precise with your movement. You can also choose unmask if you need to undo anything or choose the undo button. All right, so I've just done that. You can also click on the zoom tool and then use your fingers to zoom up on your phone if you want to be a little bit more precise as well. All right, now I'm going to zoom out. This is what it looks like and I'm going to press play. And you can see that it's just added this really cool effect to make it look like the fire is moving. If you also go to the right on the tools option and select loop, you can choose if you want the motion to be continuous, which is what it's set as by default, then bounce, which kind of goes back and forth, or reverse, which goes in the opposite direction. So now it's kind of flowing into his mouth rather than out of his mouth. If you want to adjust the speed, you do need to upgrade. I think it's like $8 a year, it's super cheap. It does let you decrease the speed though, so it can go a bit slower with the free version of the app. So you can play around with this, add more arrows as you like. And once you're happy with it, just click on this button here at the top to download it. So you can download it as a video or as a GIF. And with the free version, you can download a 720p version with a duration of 24 seconds. And that is a perfectly acceptable size, especially when a lot of these will probably just be posting from your phone. So then click export. Okay, so let's go back and try something else. So now I want to show you how we can use the pin tool to restrict motion, which is particularly helpful with images that have straight lines. I've opened up this image of a waterfall. Once again, I'll link you to this image so you can follow along in the description below. I've cropped it so it's an Instagram size image. I'm going to zoom up on the waterfall. Now I'm going to click on the pin tool and here you're just going to put pins or little marks where you want to restrict the motion. You don't have to put too many of these, but just more or less mark the area where you want to restrict motion. So I just want to add movement to the waterfall. So I'm just going to pin around that area, around all the water. So now I'm going to zoom up again, click on motion. Now I want to show you different types of motion. So this slider here, you can adjust just how much motion you add to the waterfall. So by default, we have these little arrows. If we press play, that gives it like a nice slight motion. You know, it's not too dramatic. But if I really push this slider to the left, let's do it all the way just to show you the difference. You can see when we drag the motion arrows, there's a lot of space in between. So let's press play and you can see just how much more dramatic that is. I could even add an arrow this way to kind of make it look like it's falling down and then pushing to the right. So you can get as crazy as you want 
with the motion. It just depends on the effect you're looking for. And if you want to erase some of these arrows, rather than having to undo, let's say there's just one in particular you want to erase, just scroll to where the tools are and click erase, and then just click on the motion arrow or whatever you want to erase. And that way you don't have to start fresh. So once again, you can just export and save that. Now I want to show you how to add circular motion, and this is my favorite. So I've opened up this image of a woman's eye. Again, I've linked you to this image in the description below. And I want to do a standard landscape size video. This time I'm going to click on mask and I'm going to mask out her pupil because I don't want that to have any movement. Then I'm going to click the pin tool. You can use these options together, which is great as well. And I'm going to mark around the iris. And now I'm going to click on the motion tool and click and drag in a spiral around the pupil and then click play. And you can just see how mesmerizing that is. You can click on loop once again, and I'm going to actually reverse it this time. Now, another thing that's so awesome with this app is you can also add overlays. So I'm going to click done, and now I'm going to click overlay. So here we have all these different overlays you can try. There's bokeh. And when you click on one of the filters, there are three options per filter. You can keep clicking to filter through the different options for each one. So there's three versions of this one, three versions of this one. And honestly, I can't believe how many overlays there are. There's rain pain. We've got fire, snow, sparkle. And again, just clicking three times, you can see there are different levels of intensity of each effect. Sparkle, smoke, gas, I mean, sci-fi even. So this is just an awesome way to add motion to any image. I mean, you could just add a smoke effect over one of your pictures without the motion. I really like this one here, the sci-fi one. It gives a cool, kind of a creepy effect to her eye. And if you stay tuned to my next video on this channel, I'm going to show you how you can customize these overlays because you can change the positioning of them and transform it as well to get it exactly as you like. I'm just amazed that all of these tools are available completely for free in this app. I've paid a lot of money for similar software and this one I like even more. So once again, click on save and you can export your video and look how awesome that is. Honestly, I love it. You can use this to create videos and animations for YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want, your website, and it's completely free. I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to Studio Gen for more videos like this one and stay tuned for my next tutorial where I will show you how to take these videos to the next level. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.